It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. We're spring cleaning in the winter, or fall, because we're still fall. He's breaking up more leaves. And eventually he's going to set up the lights on the house. Even though I'm Jewish, but my dad always loved Christmas lights and decorated homes. I think it's because it wasn't the thing. You know, it wasn't the Israel thing, and that's where he came from. And it was like, the first time you ever saw that probably was when he came to the United States. So, yeah. But Daniel's doing that. I just cleaned this, the outside of the stove. He bought this little guy from Amazon to put outside by one of the trees that he's going to decorate. And I thought it was so funny last night when I saw this because it comes in separate pieces. You got it on Amazon. And I was like, Daniel, <laughs> Santa Claus is holding a bottle of alcohol in a glass. Looks like it might be wine. And I was like, Santa's getting blitzed with Rudolph. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's not, it's not alcohol. And I'm like, look. And he looked at it and he's like, right. And I was like, yeah, this is funny. Only on Amazon. <laughs> Which we had to, he had to set them down, like lay them down because if you stand them up, they'll cover the television and that's just Then, uh, I got this guy at ShopRite because it reminded me of Thumper, for obvious reasons. He's gonna break the mantle. So good, so good. I feel right. And then this guy I also got a shot, right? And I want to say him or the cat, but I think it was him. It was $2 off when I bought it, but I didn't even know. Like, it was a nice surprise. And it wouldn't have made a difference anyway. I mean, these weren't that expensive. They were like less than 15 bucks, I want to say, anyway, each. So I got this guy. He was the only one they had left that I saw. He looks like the Rolling Stones. Meets the Ramones, meets Nutcracker, and I thought it was so cute. And then, this is an old Nutcracker, an old Frost, that I think Daniel had gotten previously. And the other Nutcracker, I think he had also had gotten previously, because I just never bought them. And that's Mr. Fox, Bunny's boyfriend from last year. It's actually a children or babies doll from I think it was Target. And it was in the baby section. And we had gotten it probably last year. And that thing behind him, the basket and stuff was from Zeka Created for the winter 2022 box. And then my pineapple things from Yuki Candle and the Yuki Candles, they were by the television before you know, our former television, and they didn't go when I mean, they would have covered the new television, so Daniel just took them down, and I just moved them up there for now because I didn't want them on the floor. And I think these trucks are both from TJ Maxx, but I'm not 100% sure. And that little thing there, the trailer, also TJ Maxx. The pillow is from probably Chewy. And the cat ears, I forget where Daniel got those from. Yeah. And then, that's the cat's basket of toys. Bunny, I realize, likes to use it for her nap time sometimes. It's nice and cushiony, especially when she's going through her menzies. <laughs> we really have to get her fixed. I keep telling Daniel, Bunny's gotta get fixed. Don't make me make a doctor's appointment for you, because I will. I will. That's one of our issues. We don't fight about much, but when we do, it's about the cats. And I'm like, Bunny needs to get fixed. 
when are you gonna make an appointment? Uh, um, and he doesn't. And I'm like, if you don't make an appointment, I will. No, don't make an appointment. So I don't make an appointment, but Bunny needs to get fixed. So, mm -hmm. you know, yep. So yeah, that's this so far. Daniel bought a bunch of lights for outside that he's going to do today. He decided to set up this table here. And I'm guessing the theme here is red. He moved my red candles here, which weren't supposed to go on this table. But he did. And this is a little picture of our familia from my grandma's birthday party. Where I lost my weight. Me, Daniel, and his daughter Cam. It's the familia. Yeah, the reason why I have all this foil around is to try to scare the cats away. Does it work? Not at all. Nope. Yep. Nope, doesn't work. Apparently. Does anyone have any tricks for keeping their cats off their kitchen cabinets or still, I mean, kitchen counters and stove? Because if you do, let me know because I need to know. Even when we don't keep food here, they still like to go, no matter what. And I will see their little paw prints and it's disgusting. Disgusting. Like, I love my cats, don't get me wrong, but there's a time and a place for the cats. And this area here is not for them. Not for them. It's not for the cats. No, it's not for the cats. The dishes are looking at me dirty again. I forget where I bought that sign, but I thought it was so funny. I want to say Walmart, but I don't remember. I bought it online. Coffee station. And this sign too. I don't usually keep it up because I don't keep it that much anymore. Home on, the, on the rare occasion I go out, I might have something else. But yeah, this also says wine o'clock. This is from Walmart. And the only reason why I know that right now is because my uncle came over the other day and he wanted to know. And I turned it around. Still there. Walmart.com. But I'm pretty sure I got this at the store. I could do one at a clock. Or we usually have it all. It's coffee time. It's coffee time again. <laughs> Kidding, it's not. I've had coffee in hours. I usually don't drink coffee anymore, except for the morning. And on occasion, I'll get like a small latte or cappuccino from Starbucks or Dunkin'. And it isn't for financial reasons, it's for like lifestyle reasons primarily. And um, my, my current lifestyle does not include caffeine in that capacity anymore. And it's not necessarily that I think caffeine's a double because I don't. It's that um, I have a hard time sleeping. <laughs> I've had a hard time sleeping in the past. And I just train myself to, you know, in the evening, I have my routine where I'll drink water and decaf tea, chamomile tea. I have like my routine where I'll drink. I'll alternate depending on my mood and my feelings, but I'll seriously alternate between this tea and then I'll have this one from Twinings or Twinings, chamomile, honey, and vanilla. And I'll go with this one, which is my favorite uh, decaf green tea, same brand. Ironically, and then I was going through a kick where I really liked this tea, but 
I think I got teed out from it and I just haven't been drinking it. So this is another decaf. Then I'm also venturing with other brands and other things in the decaf chamomile, I don't know, decaf green tea realm. And I found that the Twin Anger Twinings one is my favorite. I've also drank this one. It, helps, it was helping me sleep at night. And I don't know if it's the tea, the hot warmness, or what that like soothes me, but it really helps. And I have like other teas that I don't really like, but I try. I like to try new things. And if I like it, I drink it again, or I use it again. If I don't like it, I just don't do it again. And yeah, that's what I've been doing at night, mostly. And. Most of the time it helps me. Yeah, so I, I usually don't drink caffeine. Sometimes I'll have a small can of Coke Zero, especially when I'm working, whether I take time to eat lunch it is questionable or take the time to have something for lunch. But I'll usually have my Coke Zero, my like baby can, just to give me a like afternoon kick. And I try not to drink it past like four or five if I can help it. But the funny thing is I work, all right, I work from home. I live in New Jersey, so I'm an Eastern Standard Time gal. But I've been working Central Standard Time and Eastern Standard Time. And so I live in two different time zones when I'm working. And I noticed months ago when talking to somebody, I actually gave them all the time. And it wasn't that I was lying. I just forgot what time zone I was living in. <laughs> but that's what that is. So my days are very strange. I'll go to work at like 6.30ish in the morning, my time, but it's really five something. So my life, an hour behind. <laughs> so I try not to drink caffeine past four or five whichever time zone it is, but I usually don't have coffee in the afternoon, just in the morning. Or if I do, if I'm out on a day where I'm not working, I might have a coffee, like a multi or cappuccino, usually a small one, grande on a rare occasion. But I usually don't like to have it past two in the afternoon at most. Daniel's right, the TV does look good. He just turned it on to watch the game around like cleaning and outside and stuff and the Jets are on that's his, his uh, team and last night we were talking last night we were talking about the game and he was like I wonder how good the game's gonna look on the TV <laughs> it's like yeah I don't know I did we did notice the big difference between regular TV and when we were watching Netflix and Netflix looks so much better than the regular television which is good to know. But there is a bit of a difference between our old TV and this one. I mean, this one's not... We went from a cheap TV to another relatively cheap television, to be honest, because we both don't think it's worth spending $1,000 or more on a television. If we're gonna, if I'm gonna spend, if I'm using to spend that much money on a television, it would be, I don't know, something we're not really into. But, hey, bunny. Meow. Get off my seat, buddy. Get, get off mommy's seat. <laughs> no wonder I'm not her favorite parent. I am when she's on her Menzies. When she's on her Menzies, she'll come to me more than she comes to Daniel or goes to Daniel. I don't know, I think it's like a female hormone thing. But any other time of year or day, she'll be daddy's little girl. Where's your brother? Probably hiding behind the couch still. She just came out from behind the couch. <laughs>